Ciao, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of sodium phosphate. It's such an easy process when you use the following table. Take a look. Bam, so the first step is we're gonna write down the elements we see in the compound. So we've got sodium, phosphorus, and oxygen. Then we're gonna identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if there's no subscript at the bottom of a particular element, just put in a one, okay? So we've got three sodiums, one phosphorus, and four oxygen. Then we're gonna take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So sodium's mass is 22.99, phosphorus is 30.97, and oxygen is 16. So we're gonna write those on down. So 22.99 for sodium, 30.97 for phosphorus, and then 16 for our oxygen. Then we're gonna find the total mass of each element here by simply multiplying the row on a cross. So the total mass of sodium is gonna be 68.97 units of mass. Phosphorus, well that multiplication is easy, right? 30.97. And then oxygen here, uh, when we multiply that on a cross, is gonna be 64. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, all you have to do is add up all of these total masses of each individual element, right? So this is 160, this is 163.94. And the units here are in AMU, atomic mass unit. Why? Well, because we solved molecular mass. That's all there is to it, my friend. Thank you so, so very much for watching. We really do appreciate it very, very much. Um, yeah, I hope this helped. And uh, if it did, great. See you soon.